everybody, Jamie here, coming to you from Moab. I'm probably going to be here for a little while. I haven't put any, any interesting posts up for a minute because I'm really not doing anything interesting. I, I uh, did some transmission work on the van. I did a little bit of work on the trailer. I'm still, you know, the trailer's going to be an ongoing thing to get it back to perfect, but it's getting there. I've just been kind of uh, doing a lot of inside work, haven't done any exploring around the area. I've got Savannah here that I don't want to leave. I was camped with some guys and gals uh, for a few days and so I was able to get away a couple days uh, when they were here but now they're gone and I think I'm just in between a gap where some other folks are going to be coming in a week or two. I'm not sure if I really like camping in one spot for weeks at a time like I did before. When I'm camping just uh, with me, it just seems like after five days or so, I'm ready to move on. And that doesn't mean I'm ready to move on from Moab, but I'm ready to just find a different spot and be around different energy. We're going to be doing another radio show on Saturday at noon, uh, Mountain Time. The last show came out uh, great. It turned out to be a success. We had over 100 people listening in, took a couple of calls. If uh, you want to listen in tomorrow, just go to the website or type in the number that I'm going to put into the uh, notes for this video and you can listen in there. I would encourage you to call and ask a question. If there's something on your mind, don't be bashful about that. It's a very casual setting with us out here on the radio show and we'll just discuss topics about anything to do with the nomadic lifestyle. And this Saturday's guest is gonna be Vance Hollister. And if you've never heard of Vance, he's been van dwelling for over a year now. He's in the Pacific Northwest, which is a place that I've wanted to visit myself for several years. And so I'm eager to hear stories about what it's like there and how friendly it is to the lifestyle. Vance runs a website. If you wanna check out what he's doing, he's a little bit more on the edgy side, which I like and uh, his perspective on van dwelling is one that I'm eager to have on the show. So tune in Saturday at noon for the radio show, call in, consider this your personal invitation, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to a throwback video of Kendall and I as we were leaving Mexico. Now what happened earlier this year, we went to Baja, Mexico for two months, came back across the border, went to Yuma where she was gonna catch a plane, and while we were in Yuma, we walked across the border to Algodonas. And if you go to Algodonas for basically medical tourism is what it's all about. We went on a Sunday when all that was closed. And you walk in the main gates, there's a, a main little strip you're going to hit with a big purple building on the corner on the left hand side. You walk around that purple building, take a left, go down about a block and a half on the right hand side. It's almost a little sneaky uh, turn that you take over an archway and into a, mm, call it maybe an atrium or just an outdoor garden where there was a restaurant and different things set up for entertainment. But why describe it when I'm going to show it to you? This was when Kendall and I had been back in the United States, I believe it was the 3rd of April when this took place. Beautiful day, ordered some food, had a great time. I think in the video, I mentioned that uh, that the uh, plate of food I received for what I paid wasn't that great of a value and I probably wouldn't go back. But now that I went back and looked at that footage last night, I'd go back. Yeah, it's not the greatest value you're ever gonna get anywhere in Mexico or the United States, but sometimes the ambiance is worth a couple of bucks and I think in this case it was warranted. So here's what it's like if you wanna come down to Algodonas by yourself or I'll probably be going down sometime in December for different things and you're invited to come. Just make sure you have your passport or your passport card here it is. See ya. Oh, well. So we're in uh, Algodonas on a Sunday, and because it's Sunday, the optical and dental uh, businesses are closed. So we're taking a walk around to see what uh, it's like here. It's our first time crossing the border here to Algodonas, and we found this spot. There's music playing. It's pretty nice. So, I'll get up and walk around and show the place. You know what I want, right? There's Kendall. Yes, I do. Yes. 
So let's just see what it looks like as you're walking in from the beginning. We're just on a, a street. Come in the main entrance and take a left and go down about a half a block and then take this. This is on the right hand side. So see the purple building. You'll see that purple building when you cross the border. And so this is what it looks like when you go in. How's it going, man? Oh, no thanks. I'm all good. All right, so here we go, coming in. And you have the frogs, which are pretty cool. And the water fountain, which is always festive. Everybody's having fun. There's ten people. Right there. And here we are. And here we are. There's ten people with her party. I bet they're gonna get rowdy. I don't trust the looks of any of them. A <laughs> couple of gold Pacificos, two dollars a pop. My new favorite. It's not so bad. We'll get out of here for chewing up the best part of a twenty, but it's all right once in a while. Yeah, we don't do this all the time. Especially after all the mechanical work I've been doing, I deserve a treat, right? Right, man. I tell you what, it's been quite the week. It's been quite the month, actually. I'll put the camera back on when uh, food shows up. It's a pretty nice vibe here. Look at those. What is that? Right here. Look underneath the sleeve. Tell me. Right here. Oh, yeah. Those are peppers. Those are cute coconuts. It's like a kind of like a palm tree. Banana. I don't know what it is. This is a cool little place. You have fun? Sunglasses back on. My eyes are not made for any kind of sun. I didn't get the food. I didn't record the food. It was small portions. I probably wouldn't come back here for five bucks for that. There's probably places around here to get a lot of good stuff. I'm waiting for these people.